All right, well, we made it, thanks. I'm sure there's a service mesh joke in there somewhere. Uh, first of all, giant thank you to Craig for that uh, extremely musical introduction. Uh, I never thought I would see that, but uh, now I'm glad, I think, that I have. So my name is William Morgan. Uh, I'm one of the creators of Linkerd. I'm the CEO of a company called Buoyant. I've been told that I'm a very boring person, so I'm going to give you a very boring update on a very boring project called Linkerd. Um, but first, I'm going to start with the exciting stuff. So uh, over the past 12 months, it's been really kind of a remarkable period for the Linkerd uh, project. Our adoption grew by uh, over double in, in Europe uh, and, and overall across the world since uh, 2021. Uh, if you were virtually attending KubeCon last year, the Linkerd team keynoted on all the ways that Linkerd has been used to combat the global COVID-19 pandemic. I'm very proud of that. Uh, we added fuzz testing to the project. We shipped exciting features like authorization policy uh, and cross-cluster failover. Uh, and uh, Linkerd, of course, became the very first CNCF graduated service mesh. So very proud uh, of all those accomplishments uh, on, on behalf of the entire community. And of course, we've got some great adopters who joined our, uh, our ranks, including Microsoft, Elkoff, the biggest electronics retailer in the Nordics, Bink, building next generation bank, and Tustin for Turchang. Okay. All right, so uh, it's also going to be a very non-boring week. Uh, if you are a Linkerd enthusiast here at KubeCon, we've got a whole bunch of talks. You actually should have a piece of paper that'll list a bunch of them, too. Uh, two I'll point out here. Later in this conference, uh, Linkerd maintainer Kevin Limecooler is going to talk about uh, how Linkerd achieves some of its zero config um, powers. Uh, and then on Thursday, service mesh at scale. You can learn about how Xbox Cloud Gaming uses Linkerd to secure 22,000 pods around the world. Uh, but of course, all these talks are really exciting, and I recommend that you join them. So th speaking of exciting, we are here because we think the service mesh is exciting. At least I hope that's why you're here. You know, otherwise, what are you doing with your life? Uh, and it's natural for us to talk about how exciting the service mesh is. And what you're going to hear the rest of the day is about these exciting features and the exciting new use cases and all of the fun stuff we get to do. And that's OK. You know, that's fine. Like, we can geek out about service meshes because we are implementers and we are enthusiasts. We can geek out about performance, right? We can geek out about resource consumption. And most importantly, we can geek out about all of the cool, crazy things that we get to add to the service mesh. And I don't know where I found this image, but it really is remarkable if you, if you stare at it for a while. Right? But our service mesh adopters don't actually want the service mesh to be exciting. They want it to be boring. Right? We might like the excitement, but if you are the poor soul who has to actually operate the service mesh, you want it to be boring. Boring means you don't want it to have surprises. You don't want it to you know, suddenly do something unexpected. That's never good. Uh, boring means you don't want to have to go through a bunch of scary tasks to keep it up to date or to maintain it or to keep it healthy. Right? And boring means that you don't want to have to wake up at 3 in the morning and thinking about, is my service mesh OK? Right? Do I have to hire someone to deal with this thing? Right? That's the opposite. Okay? And we have a very particular strategy in the Linkerd project for how we address that and how we make things boring. And that is, you know, we make it simple, right? That's, that's, our, that's our secret, right? And we, and, and we talk specifically about operational simplicity. So as you, you the adopter of the service mesh, you the operator, what does it mean for Linkerd to be simple? Well, one thing is it means Linkerd is observable. Every aspect of Linkerd is something that you should be able to see and measure and record, right? means Linkerd has got to be understandable. You should be able to break it down into its little components, and you should be able to understand how each one works, and the documentation should be clear, and like the design should make sense. And finally, Linkerd should be predictable. Right? If you expect it to do something, it should do that thing. And if you expect it to never do something, it should never do that thing. Right? And so here's our, here's our top secret. I can't believe I'm giving this information away. Here's our top secret design philosophy. Number one, do no harm. Right? So if you have an application that is running and you add Linkerd to it, the application should continue running. Sounds incredible, but that is uh, actually quite hard to achieve. Second, you want to be Kubernetes, right? So we're all adopting Kubernetes whether we like it or not. We are stuck using Kubernetes. Linkerd should feel like Kubernetes. It should smell like it. It should be as close to Kubernetes as possible. Third, make the data plane awesome, right? Like this is something very unique to Linkerd. I'd love to talk a lot more about this. Um, but this is a big part of, uh, of Linkerd's goal of operational simplicity. And of course, fourth, we want to be modular and composable. If you go to the workshop that is, uh, I think, Wednesday about uh, how we do cross-cluster failover, I think it's a really nice example of how we came up with a really modular architecture there. 
Finally, uh, Buoyant has introduced fully managed Linkerd. This is our ability to basically treat Linkerd as a managed service. I'm really excited about this. I would also love to tell you a lot more about that. We're hiring. You can find me at the Buoyant booth out there or at the Buoyant booth in KubeCon. I'd love to talk to you about any of this stuff. Have a great service, MeshCon. Thanks, everyone.